Hello, this is Turbidrap. I'm Ronaldo Pexi, and this is a quick video today just to illustrate for you. Share what I ended up finding here. A little bit of the application on an electronic actuator test bench. If you work with a turbo machine, you certainly already know what an actuator is and its importance related to the control and safety of the entire turbine. The intention with this video today is not to talk in detail about what an actuator is, but in a didactic way to illustrate a little of its work capacity, especially for those who are not very into the turbo machinery area. Quickly and very roughly, an actuator is a device or equipment, if you will, that converts hydraulic energy into mechanical movement. The actuator is commonly used in turbines to control the position of the levers that drive the steam admission valves, the so-called partial valves, thus controlling the steam flow that enters the turbine and as a consequence it maintains the constant rotation speed of the turbine rotor. Turbine. So basically the actuator consists of a hydraulic cylinder that contains a piston connected by a rod and when hydraulic pressure is applied to the piston this one moves forward or backward pulling or pushing the output rod to do some work. Wanted. In this case as I said it means opening or closing the steam intake valve. Or the valves since the turbines can be single or multi-valve as we have said a few times. So you can already imagine the importance and reliability deposited necessary for a good actuator to work. Above all, the issue of speed of response and precision of movement. Typically I'm talking here about a repeatability rate of 0.1%, the availability that has to be 100%, less than 100 milliseconds of response time, in addition to being fail-safe withstanding high ambient temperatures that's fast actually pretty fast the complete stroke speed from the exit from the 100 percent open position to a 100 percent closed position it must be in the range of a maximum of two seconds for actuation but what i would really like to share with you in today's video is a little bit of how an actuator works in this case linear electronic actuator it is applied in a test bench controlled environment simulating the practical conditions that you have in the field. So the focus here is not on exposing brands or models, mentioning actuator models, none of that. So first, let's take a look at what's going on, what we're seeing here. So now, for example, we see the speed, the response time, which is very accurate. The command response is very fast. So we're simulating a recurrent position, for example, of actually regulating the partial valves. Don't. Then the actuator receives an electronic signal and will perform the actuation, the modulation of the valves. So now we are going to see the simulation of the actuator in a condition from 100% open to 100% closed through the design, for example, of a solenoid valve. So we'll try to understand the response time. For example, when it's a trip, the machine is tripped, something like that. Then it would be in a 100% closed position, previously 100% open. You saw that the response time is very fast. Now he is tuning again in automatic mode. So now it's going to show in this situation a little bit more of another feature called the set point for a special condition. So now he's going to exit a 100% open position. Let's assume that he wants to reach a situation of 50%, but he doesn't want to do that because of the engine, because of the adjustment. He wants to do this via spring, and then he will simulate the accuracy of this feature. So he's going there adjusting it. He's even illustrating it with an edit to make it really interesting, for him to show the sensitivity of the system. So now that's exactly what he's going to do. He will put an egg there in his device. He will fine tune it there until he really cracks the egg. It's already cracked going to turn over so we can see the crack. We couldn't even see that it cracked there on the other side. Look there. There's a little crack there. Now he will mark it. He will go there on his panel. He will see this load position there that would be equivalent. It has 28% of its total effective travel, for example. So now he will adjust this as if it were his set point. Now I will go up there in the 100% open position and will order the system to interrupt there until 28% load. There, he stopped right at the same spot exactly there. He will repeat the process again so we can see the precision and the repeatability. 
died? Notice that it left, was 100% open and will return again, at 28% load, came back again. Now for people to be sure that it is in fact an egg, he will do it again, simulate a tripe condition again. It goes there in the 100% open position, and goes through this set point and trips the machine. Simulating the turbine trip. So there was overspeed for example, then it will come and such. So, what did you think of the precision of these beauties there? Did you already know actuator? Have you seen this video or something similar? It became easier to elucidate, to demonstrate a little bit of functioning. So today's video is just that one. I just wanted to share it there. To elucidate a little better how it works. A little bit. To give you a sense of the magnitude of this repeatability rate of the process. And the fine, precise adjustment of current actuators. The electronics. There are of course other actuators. We can talk more about them one of these days. But that's it then. If you liked it, like, dislike, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your attention, for your patience, for your company. I'll get until the next video. I went.